Welcome to Sandro's Therapeutic Kitchen. So today we are going to make some interesting, tasty, quick dessert, which is strawberry shortcake. Hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, here are the ingredients for this strawberry shortcake. We're going to start with the box cake. It's not complicated because um you don't need to go crazy in the kitchen um trying to make cake from scratch use the box cake but you will need the following um ingredients which is whipped cream fresh strawberries maraschino cherries and you're gonna need these ingredients that the box cake requires is water eggs and um, Oreo, of course, I always like to use, add a little vanilla extra in my box cake. And then, of course, you're going to use the, um, you're going to need a pan, a muffin pan um, for your cake. Here's the best part. For the first time, I am using Pamper Chef product. Um, it's a very nice um, kitchen gadget. And um, I... Did a party, you guys remember me, two weeks ago. And I was able to get this awesome gadget. Not only will this mix your batter for you, but it will also control the amount of batter you put in your pan. Okay? So I'm excited to be using this um, Pampered Chef um, product for the first time. All right? So... Let's get started. Okay, remember I'm using a box cake. So I'm going to add all my wet ingredient first, which is the, um, the eggs. And then we're gonna add um, the water, which is a cup, three eggs, a cup of water, and a half cup of vegetable oil and then I am going to add the dry mixture okay this is all from the box cake making it easy all right bear with me this is my first time using this gadget so bear with me Okay, now let's work on um, mixing it. Remember, you don't need a mixer. All right, so we're gonna mix this. This is a whole box cake. Mixing everything in. Remember I told you, not only is it going to mix this for me, but it's also going to control the um, amount of batter that I put into my pan. You'll see later, but we're going to mix this for about two minutes. I forgot to add my vanilla extra. I always tend like to put a little bit, maybe half a teaspoon in there. Okay. So we're gonna keep okay after I mix this about two, three minutes. It's done, okay, this is how it looks like. Now, um, I'm going to dispense it in my pan. I will add this other part to it so we can control it, okay. All right, so now I am ready to dispense my pan. 
Okay, before I um, dispense my batter into the pan, I want to make sure that um, for the cupcake, it's on the bigger level. So the bigger um, um, dot would be for the cupcake. And I think the smallest one is for like a mini cupcake. And um, the middle one might be for like pancake or something. But we're going to do the, um, the cupcake. Okay, so I'm going to remove the bottom part. Okay. And now, here is the test. <laughs> All right, bear with me. This is my first time using this gadget, which I love already, because I don't have to use a mixer for certain type of um, dessert. So I'm going to dispense it. and should dispense the correct amount, the right amount. Okay, all right. That's it, I squeeze it. It's the correct amount you guys see okay now it's ready to be baked i'm going to bake it on 350 for about 20 minutes okay okay so while my um cake is is baking i'm going to make the um the sauce the strawberry sauce for the sh for the cake so i forgot to mention i'm gonna need sugar for the strawberry sauce i forgot to mention that earlier so i'm gonna do is i'm gonna be cutting the the strawberries into small pieces okay like this just like this all right i'm gonna move the stem and we're gonna cut it into small pieces now we are ready to make the sauce I already um, chopped up my strawberries okay I didn't use all of it because I'm not gonna make a lot okay now I'm gonna use about let's see one that's the sugar that's one tablespoon so far okay we may have to use about about two or three tablespoons. I think I'm gonna do three tablespoons. So that's that's two, and then that's three. All right. So we're going to mix that in there because we're trying to make the sauce for the for the for the cake. So I'm gonna add a, a couple um, tablespoons of the um, sauce from the cherry, so it can give it um, make it a little bit more liquidy. That's one. That's two. I think I'm gonna add three tablespoons of the sauce from the cherry because we're gonna need the sauce for the cake okay that's all that's all that's all folks here we go i'm going to put it in the freezer for a few minutes while my cake is baking okay it's about 20 minutes later and i just removed my cupcakes from the oven i'm gonna let it cool off before i start making the dessert Okay, so now this is the final process. The um, cake is all cooled down. If you're in a hurry, you could put it in the refrigerator or the freezer. Okay, I wasn't in a hurry, so I waited. So here's my glass. I'm gonna start with, um, with this is the sauce you guys remember I made. So I'm gonna pour some sauce first in the cup. I'm gonna add some the cream I'm 
and then I am going to add a little bit more, a little bit more sauce. Maybe add a little bit more whipped cream. Okay. Now I'm gonna add. I'm adding my cake. Okay. Now I am going to add a little bit more sauce, not too much, just to get it down in there. Then I will add some whipped cream. A little more whipped cream. Then I'm gonna add some strawberry for the, the, the core. And then I'm gonna add some cherries. I like a lot of cherries on mine, but I'm gonna put two. All right, guys, this is it. Okay, so I'm doing a tasting for y'all. Believe me, I'm not going to eat all that. I'm going to taste it. <laughs> um, I feel like the need to at least show you guys what it looked like and maybe what it tastes like. Um, so let's get going. So I'm going deep in there. Remember, we got the um, strawberry in there. We have the whipped cream and the strawberry my favorite is the cherry mm, i'm gonna get the cherry mm -hmm. here we go mm. Mm. so good so let's see. 